All right, so today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened SDR Android 21 and the Tech Android 16 from the Dragon Ball Fighters collab. Now, as always, before we get into the gameplay, I want to quickly go over their details. So if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. So starting with the Android 16, his leader skill is Super Tech Types, keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 110%. His Super Attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional defense plus 40% per Android's category ally on the team up to 160%. High chance of guarding all attacks plus an additional attack plus 16% whenever guard is activated up to 80%. Now moving on to the Android 21. Uh, leader skill is Android's category, key plus three, HP attack defense plus 150%, super attack, immense damage, and recovers 12% HP. And passive is key plus three, attack defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack defense plus 21% whenever, uh, when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 21% if HP is 80% or more. Attacked enemies attack and defense minus 21% for two turns and transforms when conditions are met. And as far as the transformation conditions go, it's a 40% chance of uh, consuming cell and transforming when HP is 40% or more starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. And after she transforms, her super attack becomes raises attack, causes immense damage, and lowers enemies' attack and defense. And passive is E plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, recovers 15% HP at the start of turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 21%, and disables enemies' guard when performing a super attack, plus another additional attack and defense plus 21%, if HP is 60% or more. So there you go, that is the uh, 21 and the 16, and without further ado, let's jump into the Androids uh, Super Battle Road stage to see how good these two EZA units are, and also how good the uh, Androids team is overall with these two additions. So, on this first rotation, we have the Android 16, and there are a lot of attacks in that first slot, but I think he's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think he's gonna be okay. So. Let's, uh, usually for Super Battle Road, I like to pop an item, but let's actually hold off. He has 176,000 defense, and if he guards, he should be more than tanky enough to take those attacks. So let's go for this guy right here. I'll give him the STR orbs, and then let's go for uh, the tech guy with the LR cell. That's going to be a 24 key super. And let's switch it up and go back to this guy with Super 17, who does not get a lot of key, unfortunately. But uh, he still gets a Super, so that's nice. All right, so let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, 22 damage. That was with type disadvantage, too. <laughs> so he took 22 damage without any items. 119, 52, 33. Here's a Super. It's going to do... 12 damage. <laughs> Alright, so uh, obviously we didn't do a lot of damage ourselves there. Um, his attack stat was under 2 mil, it was like 1.7 or so, but that was only after taking one attack. So, as you saw, after he took each attack after, like after the first attack, um, he got more attack, right? So, basically at this point he should be fully built up. I'm hoping that we get to see him for one more turn because. Uh, he should be hitting much harder the next time we come around. So for the 21, she's starting with 168,000 defense. Now the friend is actually fully maxed out for her links, so obviously it's much better than mine. And uh, yeah, 168,000 defense is quite good. So let's go for this guy and see what she can do. It might be a bit difficult to actually get a super off, or not super, sorry, uh, the transformation. The transformation off because I don't think we'll see turn four too often with this team, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so she got uh, 4.2 mil 
I think. 4.2 mil attack. That's pretty good. This is pre-transformation too, right? So once she transforms, she actually becomes a lot more powerful. And this is the, uh, like my Android 21 without maxed out links. Actually, she's only at like level one or level two links. So a big difference there without big bad bosses, obviously. But honestly, still pretty decent. Okay, so on this turn, we have Andrew 21 with much more attack now built up. And uh, obviously we know his defense is extremely, extremely good. Now, let's see his offense here. Okay, so 2.69. 2.69, we got about a million more attack than the first turn. That's a very significant increase. And I don't think he's actually maxed out yet. Because I've seen him put up over... 3 million, so we probably could still take one or two more attacks uh, to max out that passive. But the point I'm trying to make is like, he does have that offensive potential, uh, but he's still mainly, mainly a defensive unit, right? He's still, like, his main purpose is still to be a crazy tank, and he does that very, very well. Alright, so this turn, uh, this time we have two enemies and these guys should be hitting a lot harder so i'm thinking maybe we pop an item but at the same time i wouldn't mind like going for a no item run you know so i'm a little bit conflicted I'm not gonna lie but i think we can get away without using an item for this turn so let's leave super 17 in that first slot and uh i guess we'll go for real though first we'll give these to 17, uh, we'll give just one orb to 21, and then we'll give these to uh, 15, oh, sorry, 13, 13. I get confused with the numbers sometimes because there's so many different androids. <laughs> uh, that's my bad, that's my bad. Okay, so we took a super there for just under 100k. Even though this guy, I'm not gonna lie, the uh, super 17 is not that impressive to me his defense is definitely quite good his damage though i think could have been better and also like even though he gets key when he takes attacks right uh it takes a while for him to actually build up that key and like i don't know i just don't love the design of the unit but uh his defense is, is really good <laughs> i'll give him that i'll give him that speaking of defense though obviously this man is a monster, so let's uh, leave him in that first slot. Ooh, you know what, actually? Hmm, I wanna get a super with him. I definitely wanna get a super with him, so let's actually put Cell in that first slot. Uh, let me see what we can do here. So if I... Hmm. If I give these to Cell... We still don't have it. We still don't have a super, that sucks. Okay, so this rotation is a bit of a write-off, but defensively, uh, 16 will still hold up just fine. You know, it's not really a concern. His, his tanking is never going to be a concern. I just want to see him do more damage. So, I'm hoping at some point, you know, in this showcase, in this run, we get him fully maxed out. And uh, we can actually, you know, see him put out some, like, legit damage numbers. Okay, so let's see here. Um, all right, on this turn, as you can see, man, the defense is not looking that great for the 21. Uh, oh. Yo. <laughs> I think my iPad just crashed. One sec. Okay, so I actually had to restart my iPad, and now we're back in business, so... Uh, let me see what's the best move here. Uh, I think I think 17 in the first slot makes the most sense and then uh, Let's see. I'll give That to 21 so I can give these to the LR cell. I think that makes sense Hopefully the uh, glitch thing doesn't happen because I didn't purposely Try to crash the game, you know what I mean? So we're good, we're good. I'm just kidding, because they obviously patched it out, but I'm still a little bit worried, man. I mean, after the threats they made about banning people, which I knew, 
it was not actually gonna happen. You know, it was an empty threat. But at this point, I'm just, I don't know, a little bit paranoid, I guess. Just a, just a little bit paranoid. Okay, so we killed the first guy. We killed Rildo. And I forgot this dude's name, I'll be honest. But it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, ooh, okay, let's put this guy here. 191,000 defense, that's awesome. And give three orbs to 16. It's gonna be four for Cell and no super for 13. But at least he's supporting, so he's being useful at the very least. Close to two million. I think that's only with two attacks received. Yeah, I think that's two attacks received. So yeah, I mean, once again, like offensively, he's really just not gonna be that uh, good, <laughs> I guess, you know? I wouldn't really rely on him for defense, or offense rather. He's much, much more just a defensive juggernaut, and he does that job extremely, extremely well, like better than most units in the game. And considering how good on defense he is, I would say his damage is more than than good enough, for me at least. Okay, so we got the active skill for uh, 17, and I don't actually remember what he does, to be honest, so let me just check that. Uh, ultimate damage, oh, it's a, it's a super attack style um, active skill. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna save that. Let's just uh, see what 21 can do. Let her uh, attack after the transformation. Uh, about 3.2, oh, keep in mind actually that 21 has big bad bosses, right? But the 17 actually doesn't. So that actually hurts her a bit because that could have been much more attack. But unfortunately this guy, no big bad bosses. So she missed out on like 25% attack and defense right there. But she actually ate that super pretty well. So at this point in time, still no items used. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a no item run pretty easily, but uh, if we have to use one, I will. I don't think we will have to though. I think we'll be good. Okay, give me one sec guys. I just got a phone call from someone pretty important, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We are back, here we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put 16 there. I trust him wholeheartedly to take those. And uh, let's attack Dr. Mew here. That is gonna be a super for him. And I guess there's really no way to get a 12 key super attack. So let's just go for the full 24 key. And we also have, ooh, we also have a nice 18 key for the int LR cell. Uh-oh. Oh no. Okay, so he's not guarding this turn. He's not guarding this turn. His guard was not activated which is unfortunate. He's still actually taking those attacks pretty well. But as you can see, since our guard is not activated, we're not actually getting any additional attack from those uh, hits, right? And that really sucks, because that was a lot of attacks, man. He could have easily maxed out his passive. But that's the problem with the high chance to guard, right? Like, most of the time you'll get it, but sometimes it just does not activate, and uh, that can screw you. I. I really wish it was guaranteed guard. Like, I don't know if that's too much to ask for or not, but <clears throat> if I had my choice, obviously, um, I would have just made him like a hundred percent chance to guard. But uh, it is what it is. What can you do about that? Okay, so we're gonna put 17 in the first slot. Give him that 18 key super, and then we'll give. Uh, let's go for real though. Actually, we'll give these STR orbs. 21 and I'll give these to 13. We have a token attack actually. I missed that. I missed that. I would have given it actually to 21 if I had noticed. So that sucks. Oh well, it's it's kind of like a 21 16 showcase, but at the same time, it's also like a uh, just androids team update, right? So I think it's fine if we give it to. Uh, LR Super 17. Hopefully he doesn't kill both of them because I still want to see at least one more attack from 21. Oh, there we go. All right, 3.2 mil. 
And is this is this gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? No, no, he's still alive. Good, good. So now our 16, and finish it off. And he's been, I mean, pretty much the MVP of this run. Even though he didn't guard, which kind of pissed me off last turn. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, he didn't guard, and we missed out on a lot of attack. But uh, at the very least, even without the guard, he still took the hits really, really well. You know what I mean? Like, he still tanked extremely, extremely well. So, uh, we will give him a pass for that one. And, of course, we didn't kill him. Right, because we didn't get any of the additional attack boosts. So, therefore, um, we, we do, like, no damage right now. Okay, well, you know what? 21 will finish it off then. 21 will do the honors. Let's throw her there. Um, who does she link better with? Looks like slightly better with 17. Okay, so I'll give her those. And this was eventually a no item run. And uh, yeah, androids, it's pretty solid right now, guys. And androids is, is pretty powerful right now. Um, it could be... It could be better. It's not like a top five category, in my opinion, but it's definitely, you know what, actually, it's like, that's not even fair. That's not even fair, because JP just got two new really, really good Android units, right? So with the Dokkan Fest 17 and 18, and also the 19 and 20, uh, I think it might actually break into the top five uh, on JP. On Global right now, we're not quite there, but once we get that celebration, uh, there's a case to be made, for sure. But there you have it, guys. Android 21 and Android 16 Extremes The Awakenings. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. I was quite impressed, to be honest. I thought uh, they both performed really, really well, especially the 16. I guess you can think of uh, these two units as, you know, one's more offensive, one's more defensive. Obviously, the 16 is more geared towards defense with some offensive potential, whereas the 21 still can tank, she still has good defense, but she's much more of an offensive unit. She does a lot more damage without as much uh, of the tanking ability of 16. So, I mean, if you guys have both of them, I would just run both on the like optimal Android team right now. And uh, there you go, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And uh, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.